I'm Brian McDermott, Community Chef, and today I'm very excited about showing you how to roast the leg of lamb. I'm going to create a lovely, fantastic rub that complements the lovely sweetness of the perfect lamb that I've picked up at my local craft butcher. So I want to encourage you with a leg of lamb to buy it with the bone in and to remove it yourself because we're going to butterfly it and create that lovely rub for it. So what you want to do is you want to just get in there. You can see the bone. It's like your knee. It's got a joint on it that bends. So just follow the bone the whole way down the back as I'm doing. Lift right underneath it. Get your knife in under and just remove that little bit of lamb from underneath and just take it forward to the forward end of the bone. And again, right underneath that, down around the sides of it, and that will remove cleanly for you. And now I'm just going to make that final cut just in between the muscle, just to butterfly that out. And quite simply, that's just a perfect butterfly alarm that allows me to get my rub that I'm going to do now right in there to penetrate the flavour and to complement the sweetness of that lamb. Okay, so now you've got your butterfly of lamb ready. I'm going to create a fantastic rub here, and I absolutely love this, because what we're doing is we're taking some fresh rosemary, and again, very easy to grow, or very easy to get your hands on. And I'm just picking off from the stem our fresh rosemary. Okay, I'm going to put a good bit into this, because I want a maximum amount of flavour. Rosemary just works so well with lamb. So I'm going to chop up that rosemary a little bit, just before I put it into our pestle and mortar, just to break it up a little bit further. So I'm going to spend a few seconds now just breaking that in the pestle mortar and what that's doing is it's releasing the oil and the lovely aroma coming from the rosemary. I'm not worried about the big chunks, I just want to get the oil out of here and I can see that happening already. Ah yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, so you see what I've done there, I've just broken that up and you're getting that lovely aroma starting to come out. Now, to that I'm going to add some fresh mint as well. And just the leaves, same thing again, pull them away with your finger and your thumb, pick them off, you don't need the stem in there. And again, a little light chop of those prior to going in on top of our rosemary. And I'm again going to spend a few seconds breaking that down. And there's a wonderful aroma going on here at the moment. And again, I only ever use two to three herbs maximum. You don't want the flavour fighting with each other, you want this complementing each other. The mint's very distinctive, the rosemary is also very distinctive. And look, you've created a lovely rub from your two herbs, straight from your garden or straight from your window box. So to that, I'm going to add in about a clove to two cloves of garlic, just roughly chopped up. Some good amount of cracked black pepper. Be generous with the pepper. And I'm not using salt here. I'm not a fan of adding loads of salt to food. I think food has a lovely natural flavour of its own. So now we're going to bind them together by firstly some fresh squeezed lemon juice. So, so important. And a good dash of that in there. Followed by about a tablespoon of rapeseed oil. And the lovely lemonness is going to cut through, that citricness is going to cut through the fattiness of the lamb. And it's like a sour flavour going on with the lovely sweetness of that lamb. This is just a wonderful little rub that you can put together in a few minutes. You can keep this in your fridge, have it ready in the morning, for night or the next day. And simply just spread it on to your lamb, butterfly leg, or you can just use it on some lamb chops. That to me is absolutely gorgeous. So, so simple. And we're ready now to put that onto our lamb. So for the roasting of any joint of meat, and particularly the leg of lamb that I'm going to use, I'm going to create a trivet. Now a trivet, very basically, is when you lift the leg of lamb, in this case, off the cooking surface of the tray. And to do that, I'm going to use some vegetable. I'm going to use some onion, potato, and some carrot, because it's going to add wonderful flavor to the stock that's left behind. So I'm just going to cut up as rough as I can our potato. Okay, our onion, just going to half that. And again, I'm going to cut that into another half keeping it nice big long pieces and the same with our carrot I prefer just to half our carrot like so and those vegetables I'm going to place quite roughly into our roasting dish across the bottom of it and they're going to create that surface that I'm looking for to lift up the leg of lamb and also to give me lovely wonderful flavours coming from the vegetables so there you go, there's our onion, potato and our carrots, known as a trivet, ready for our leg of lamb, simply just means it's going to lift 
to joint the meat up from the cooking vessel which is a roasting tray. So now I'm going to take our lovely rub and I'm going to spread that throughout the inside of our butterfly of our leg of lamb. Get it all in there, all of the juices, particularly that lemon juice, the oil, and take your hand then and get personal with that. This is what's great about getting in close and personal with me. You can rub that right into every little nitty gritty opening that there is in that lamb. And that's going to be the inside and I'm going to just fold that up, turn it over on itself, like so. And I'm going to place that on top of our tray of vegetables known as our trivet. And I, I'm not going to tie that deliberately because I want that to be lovely and loose and natural. I'm not a huge fan of tying that meat really, really tight. That's just going to simply cook in its own lovely, natural way. One last thing I just want to do is take a little bit of oil and just drizzle it on to the top of that and just rub that in with the last little bit of our rub, which is here, and take a little bit of seasoning, which is some cracked black pepper, onto the top of that. And that's how you create the perfect roast leg of lamb ready for the oven. So now I'm going to place that into the oven at about 200 degrees, which is quite high, just to seal in the meat initially. Then I'm going to drop that temperature down. And depending on how you eat your lamb, medium, medium to well, or well done, we're going to look and allow about 15 minutes per pound weight of cooking time. Okay, now the exciting part of going to get that lovely leg of llama. It's just filled this kitchen with the lovely smells coming from it. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, wow, look at that. That's what we're after. Love that lovely roasted top that's on it. I can smell, I really get the smell of the mint and the rosemary and the garlic coming at me. So again, it's very, very important that you rest your meat. And I wanted to leave that loose in its natural state so that it's cooking in its own time. So I'm just gonna let that rest onto the chopping board. I'm gonna serve this as a lovely family platter that you can slice up at the table, create a discussion, and we're gonna use these vegetables to serve this up. Think about it, now we have lovely roasted vegetables. Look at that, underneath our lamb. So we've done two or three things in one. We've roasted our lamb, we've cooked our vegetables, we've captured the juice which is below here, which I so want and I so want to keep to turn that into a lovely liquid. And I'm going to call this a jus. Now the difference between a jus and a gravy is this is going to be unthickened and it's the natural juices that I want to capture from the lamb and turn this into a lovely light sauce to be drizzled alongside the lamb. And there we go. So we're going to put that under the heat and those lovely juices that are natural. To that I'm going to add some tomato puree just to richen that up slightly. So it's a good tablespoon of that. And I'm going to put in some red wine. And I'm going to whisk that. It'll get a little bit stodgy for you just for a second or two. Look at that thickening up. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's enriched by the tomato puree that's in there. There's wonderful smells just coming off that lamb and the natural juice. So it's all about less ingredients for me and more value in the lamb that's coming from your local butcher. And the lamb, lamb's absolutely gorgeous. It's so sweet. And adding to that a little bit of chicken stock. You can have this as thin or as thick as you want as a lovely jus. And there's no more cooking involved with that. Just let that cook out nice and light. And now we're going to work on garnishing up that lamb as a lovely family platter style of service. So we're going to take our carrots and we're going to cut them into lovely big thick slices. And look at that, it's absolutely gorgeous. The colour in those is fantastic. And to think that you were only using them to protect the lamb initially. And there's our potato, look at that, lovely wages. Our onion, you can just drizzle into that. And into the centre, and I just open that up, look at that. I can smell that, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to finish that out by garnishing it up with loads of our vegetables. Our potato, our carrot, our onion. Look at that.
And finally, we're going to drizzle our lovely jus over the top of that. So it's a lovely, rich red wine jus. And that only needs a little bit around the side of that. We're going to serve the rest of it separately in a lovely gravy boat. And I'm going to garnish that up with my two favourite herbs for lamb, which is no surprise to you. The same as what's in the rub. Look at that, our lovely mint leaves, absolutely gorgeous, and a lovely sprig of our rosemary. Now with rosemary, what I would recommend, a little bit of heat onto the rosemary, just some steam or hot water, and that again will just leave you with the lovely flavour coming out of that. Now I am absolutely blown away by the smell, by the look of that. It's a lovely family style service. You've got all the vegetable, you've got a little bit of the sauce, which is lovely and rich, You've got that meat which is marinated inside by the lemon juice that you put in along with the herbs, the garlic. You've rubbed it together, the cracked black pepper, the rapeseed oil. It's so tender, it's fantastic, it's a family service and to me it's extraordinary showcasing the fantastic lamb from your local butcher.